So, ang unang gagawin ay susulat muna natin yung words or letters in cursive. So, I suggest na pag-aralan muna kung paano mag-cursive ng mga letters kasi ma-apply natin to sa pag-aaral or pagpa-practice ng calligraphy. And then step 2, kapalan na natin o lagyan na natin ng shade yung mga downstrokes. And the next is consistency. So consistency is very important because all letters must be follow the same height and angle. And another super important is when it comes to faux calligraphy is to keep your downstroke with the same thickness to avoid a noticeable difference in the thickness of your downstrokes. Next one is the basic strokes. The most important thing to remember is that the upstrokes are thin and then the downstrokes are thick. The best way to learn and practice calligraphy is by using the basic strokes. So, meron tayong 8 basic strokes that you can use to combine and form nearly every letter. The first one is upstroke, downstroke, underturn, overturn, compound curve, oval, ascending loop, and the last one is descending loop. So, one thing na nakikita ko sa mga beginners, so nahihirapan sila or sa struggle sila kung saan nila ilalagay yung downstrokes. So, kailangan mo muna isipin kung saan side mo siya ilalagay. Kasi kung hindi, you will end up with inconsistent spacing. And I recommend is always add the thickness to the inside part of your letters. So, kapag kasi sa inside part ng letters mo siya ilalagay, we ensure consistent spacing between the letters. If kung gusto mo naman siya ilagay sa labas na part, that's okay lang naman. Basta magiging aware tayo dun sa spacing and consistency ng bawat letter. So now, I'm using gel pen, ordinary ball pen, pencil, but not only that, kasi kahit fine liners, markers, chalk, any art materials will do. And then next guys, papakita ko sa inyo yung uppercase alphabet letters and then yung lowercase. 